Yeah, that's fun. All right guys, welcome back to another episode of the SR20 powered Datsun Roadster. Uh, today we're just gonna wrap up a few things on the SR20 right behind me. I'll turn you around here. Uh, we're just basically gonna take these oil squirters off. We're gonna run them through the parts washer, get those cleaned up and put the valve cover uh, back on. We're gonna get the alternator put on, get the starter put on, and then we're gonna take the motor off the stand and get the transmission installed. So. Uh, the reason we're doing this is uh, we need to basically do some dry fit, test fit of the engine into the chassis. Um, I'm actually gonna get the motor and stuff hopefully put on here today and then we're gonna bring the uh, body down from the storage unit and get the body put on the car as well. And we're just kind of doing a dry fit of the body with the engine in the car. Uh, there's some things we need to do with suspension. Uh, Alex is gonna come over and help me with that. He's my suspension friend, guru, engineer, way smarter than I am when it comes to that kind of stuff. Uh, so he's gonna help me do that. Uh, he's got a pretty good uh, suspension design for the rear. It's gonna convert to coilovers, uh, hopefully be a little bit more functional than the leaf spring stick axle that's back there right now. Um, the other thing I wanna do is build the exhaust system, kind of get that done as well while the body's on the car, just for fitment issues and still working on some other little things. You guys, we'll get, we'll get to it as, as we kind of go, but uh, let's get started on the SR20. You guys can come along with me and just get that cleaned up and get that put into the chassis. So the body is back from storage um, on our custom built cradle, helps wheel it around a little bit. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is kind of get into it here and start removing all the stuff that we didn't get to before when we first took it apart. Uh, kind of get this torn down to a bare shell. Uh, basically, we're gonna, we're gonna be putting all new, all new everything in. Um, so we're gonna have to go ahead and get the uh, master cylinders out, the rest of the brake lines, get the wiring pulled out so that uh, when we put the SR, when we remarry it with the SR on the uh, chassis, that everything will have kind of a clean slate to work from. I think we've got everything disconnected here. We'll be able to lift the dashboard off and get it out of the way. And then we'll have access to kind of the firewall area. We'll get all the old crap, <laughs> wiring harness, all that crap out of the way. That job was a pain in the ass, but there we go. All right, well now we get to play the game of how much of this do we want to keep? Um, I think the realistic view is this car is a roadster and it's probably gonna rarely see the rain, if ever. Uh, definitely isn't gonna see any winter months, so I'm gonna take the heater out. The heater actually was an optional component in 1968 when this car was built, which I think is kind of funny. This was originally uh, sold in Lima, Ohio, just kind of nearby here, and uh, it, so it did actually get the optional heater installed, so that's, that's good, but we'll pull that out. I'm not gonna run heat from the SR or anything like that. Um, so get the heater pulled, parking brake handle pulled, and then we'll cut a big hole in the transmission tunnel for the, for the bigger Nismo six speed. Okay, with the interior removed and the car pretty much gutted, we were able to modify the transmission tunnel to accommodate the larger six speed box. This step isn't necessary if you're doing a five speed swap on this car, 
with the SR20 transmission, but with the six-speed box, it is a little bit wider, bigger box. So I'm gonna have to modify the transmission tunnel. Uh, you can see that on the left side of the tunnel, it is about two inches wider than on the right to accommodate the original box. So we're just gonna kind of mirror that to the other side, uh, cut out the existing sheet metal and replace it with some new. I'm actually not gonna replace it all just yet. I am gonna put the, uh, put the body onto the chassis and ensure that we've got enough room everywhere before I go welding in new material. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna have to cut out is the shifter hole. For the 2000s, the shifter hole was kind of in a forward position and you can see there is a cutout here uh, where the 1600 shifter was. So I'm gonna have to trim that out as well so that the shifter will go through uh, on the transmission. It does fall just a little bit further back here with the SR swap. So let's uh, get the trusty grinder out, make some room. much it for the teardown. Um, still have a couple brackets I need to pull out of the engine bay, get the grinder out, do that. Um, I did get the brake master cylinder and the clutch cylinder off. We're going to change that out. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to use for that just yet. If you have any good ideas, comment in the post below. I was planning on using 300ZX brakes all the way around. I've definitely got them for the front. I was going to adapt them to the rear as well and probably was maybe thinking about using a 300ZX master cylinder setup, but Mm, not sure. I don't know if I want to go as far as to put a Tilton pedal box in. So definitely leave a comment below if you think you've got a good idea for it. Um, the pedals aren't, aren't terrible on this thing. Uh, they are a little bit close together, but there's just not a lot of room in the, in the tunnel there for your feet. So they're going to be regardless. So maybe I'll do a floor mounted box. I've not really cared for those in the past, but it is a pretty good solution in this instance. Um, yeah, we've got the dash out and um, basically I'm going to gut the dash, kind of just remove all the gauges, gut everything there. I'm going to cut into it uh, and probably 3D print a surround for a digital dash. Uh, I plan on using like an AIM dash or uh, Haltech uh, dash, something like that, uh, so that it kind of displays all the information. None of the old gauges are going to work and uh, I'm going to do a little bit of track time with this car, so I wouldn't mind having a gauge option that is a little bit more inclusive of parameters if you're on the track. So yeah, that's kind of the plan. But for now, next step, let's get this pushed over to the lift bay, up in the air, put the chassis under it.
SR is in. The body is on the chassis. They've been remade it up. Everything fits great. Uh, the doors still open and close. Always a concern on these older convertibles that are a little bit floppy. Uh, until I can get a cage mounted in here, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Uh, very excited that the SR fits as well as it does. It looks at right at home in the engine bay. I mean, it just fits just perfectly. So very excited for that. Next step's gonna be the hard work, all the mechanical stuff, the manifolds, the wiring harness, the plumbing, fuel lines, intercooler, all that fun stuff. So like and subscribe to see more content on Project Fair Lady, and we'll see you next time.